and welcome back to the Paul Dolden Details channel. Right, this week we begin with some rather happy news, but sad news at the same time. So the happy news is my son has bought a property with his girlfriend. Congratulations to them. The sad news is he's taken his cars with him, which means the BMW is no longer going to be here. So it's going to be on the channel every now and again, but not quite so frequent. So this got me thinking, it's winter time. It needs some sort of a decent sealant on it. It's great putting QDs on it and all that, doing maintenance washes, but they don't last that long. So it needs some sort of decent longevity of LSP on it. This is called Refulgence. This is by High Definition Detail. If you follow me on Instagram, if you follow a couple other YouTubers on Instagram, you might have seen this stuff. No one's really spoke about this stuff, so not many people know much about it. It's a polymeric ceramic, ceramic spray sealant. Durable, ultra slick, hydrophobic and hydrophilic. All in one sentence. So what's this stuff all about? We're gonna find out. Let me read this out to you. It's far easier, that's why I got these on. Right, Refulgence is a water-based polymeric ceramic spray sealant providing some excellent protection for all painted surfaces with an ultra slick feel and a very hydrophobic and hydrophilic water behavior. Now this stuff should last up to 10 months, they're the durability claims. But in getting that level of protection with that durability, that amount of time, you're gonna to have to put a little bit of work in i.e. machine polishing, you know, decontaminating the paint. Now, I have to say, the bonnet has already been done and the boot lid's been done. If you're in America, that's the trunk and the bonnet is the hood. That's for the Americans out there. Hello, America. So you're gonna need to do this if you wanna get the durability from this product. Very much the same as this stuff. It's just about caught that. <laughs> 3CS from Garage Therapy. Now, they are very, very similar in the application method. I don't know what's in this, I don't know what's in this. But I do know the application is pretty much identical to that. So as you can see, the car is not exactly dirty, so we are gonna to have to go through the necessary steps and get rid of what was ever on the car before, i.e. strip off the last stage protection using some garage therapy, uh, decon shampoo, and we are gonna be using an IPA, because that's really important when we're doing machine polishing. So without further ado, grab a great big bowl of Chris, pour a double gin and tonic, and roll the video. So here we go then, Christmas has come early this year for me. My wife bought me this. This is from Max Shine. Now I've got to say, when I recorded this video, they are very low on stock. In fact, I think they were out of stock after I bought this, and blame me. Blame that tall bloke from Essex. You can see a bit more about uh, Max Shine on the channel. I sent down some goodies along with that trolley. Thanks to Jot, big shout out to him. Neil Fisk C135i is my machine with the stubby gun from my definition detail and that hose attached to the gun is from Direct Hoses. You're gonna see a bit more of those coming soon on the channel as well. Spoiler alert. So obviously the car is not exactly dirty but we have to go through the necessary precautions removing any grime. So the fallout remover stage has been done, it's been clay barred, detarred. Don't all shout at me in the comment section when you don't see it in this video, it's already been done. Okay, it was done on a previous wash. I don't do everything on camera, you know. Back to the video, right, tire scrubbing time with Rage pre-wash. 100 to 150 mil, depending on the severity of the grime on your tires, in a one litre trigger spray, topped up with water. Easy peasy. You want to know where you can get those bottles from? Golden Bird Detail. Look them up. They're the Jack Daniels style bottles. Seems to be quite popular, those. Not Jack Daniels, I mean the bottles. I'm not really keen on Jack Daniels. Can't get on with it. Not a big whiskey drinker. So we've got the Vicam brush. Of course, you can go in the spokes, spokes. I'll get me words out one day, spokes. Put your teeth in, Paul. You can go in the spokes with your wheel woolies. No real need today. Only another three to go. Yay! Pre-wash time now. This week, we're bringing out the Valet Pro Snow Foam Combo 2. Let me know if you've uh, used this in the comments section. First outing for me with this. I've always loved uh, Valet Pro Citrus, used that for a number of years. 
first impressions of this is pretty thin stuff to be honest with you. Lance is turned up to the max. Maybe use a little bit more than 100 mil this time, Paul. Probably looking at this car thinking, why don't you just wash it down with a pressure washer? Why are you even bothering? Well, I know we're going to be doing some machine polishing today, but at this point, it's just inducing more swirl marks. The bonnet's been done, the boot's been done. So we're going to just go through the safe wash process. Quite a chilly day, even though the sun started coming out. And yes, I'm advertising Gary's Pro D Detailing hoodies. There's a couple of reasons I'm doing that. One, because I'm a good mate and I like advertising everyone else. And two, the other one's in the wash. So dwell time, around about five minutes for this. It's pretty thin stuff. So in a super duper edited clip of me rinsing down the car, or rather rinsing up the car, I go from the bottom up. Let me know in the comment section which you prefer. Do you prefer rinsing down or do you prefer rinsing up to see where you've been? I always go from bottom to top and then come back down again. Making sure you've got every single bit. One of the worst places on these cars is actually the actual boot lid itself. Well, it's more to do with the seal. I said a replacement seal underneath that. It's a rubber seal which goes right there where I'm doing it there. And then the older BMW, uh, sorry, the older model we had, it used to leak. Not good. Right, Garish Therapy's Decon Shampoo now. So I'm using this in the bucket, 65 mil in the bucket. Now this isn't gonna strip absolutely everything, but it is gonna take off the remainder of the uh, quick detail that was on the car. We are gonna be using an IPA or a panel wipe. Got told off before because I used the terminology wrong. It removes polishing oils at the end of the day. There's always a keyboard warrior, isn't there? I do like this shampoo. It's a good cleansing shampoo. You can actually use this as a pre-wash. You can dilute it back. So that is pretty flat, isn't it? Not a lot going on there as far as sheeting action is concerned or beading which is what we want. So after an off-camera drying stage and a quick wipe down, we move on to the polishing. Ballot Pro again, light to medium. And their advanced compound. The panel prep, which will remove any polishing oils. And of course the Euro fiber pads. You can actually get those on high definition detail. Numerous different sizes of those. So with the uh, amazing uh, masking up I've done there, you can tell who uh, does the wrapping in my house, not. Cast your eyes to the right, the panel, yes. I put a little bit too much on the pad when I was priming it and I had to spread it out the entire length of the door. Wouldn't normally do this, as me getting a bit carried away. So just do small sections at a time. Now this isn't a paint correction. We are going to try and remove some of the defects. It is single stage paint. If you've ever done single stage paint, you'll know that paint transfer is your worst enemy. It is a pain in the backside. What do I mean by that? Well, the paint goes into the pad and you have to keep washing the pad out or brushing it out or air brushing it out if you've got an air gun in between sets. If you don't remove it from the pad, it just renders the pad useless to be honest with you and it just clogs up. So the 
internal prep wipe down in between the sets. You can go mad on this. You can spend hours and hours polishing to perfect it. We are up against it with the time, so I'm only gonna do the best I can with the time available. So no editing here, this is all real time. Using the, the Rupes Bigfoot, up to speed four. I don't really feel the need to go above four. Three and four tends to be my comfortable speeds. We old Top Gun ear defenders on. Now whether you listen to music or you wear ear defenders, do try and cover up your ears, wear earplugs. Look after yourself when you're doing this. Prolonged periods of polishing, you can damage your hearing. So moving on to the smaller parts. That plastic insert is actually held in with like a resin type glue. I'm going to be a little bit careful of that. And this is the Eurofiber pad. I actually really like these pads. So they provide a bit of cut and they finish down at the same time. And that machine is from Details Passions. Some more copious wiping downs. You're probably thinking, where are we gonna see the sealant? Well, all this is the prep work, unfortunately. This is what we were left with after the polishing stage on this side of the car. move across the other side to the larger Eurofiber pad. I threw these in a washing machine after and it doesn't really look like they've been used. They're pretty durable. You will pay a little bit of a premium on these pads. I think the larger one is around 12 pounds. So I know that the top part of the car is all original as far as paint is concerned. The lower part underneath that rubber, it did have some uh, new seals, I believe, and it had some uh, work done to it. So obviously that's been repainted. But on the whole, it's blooming good order. It's in good nick. So after all the polishing was finished and another wipe down, it's onto refulgence. The sealant. So dampen your microfiber applicator pad, wring it out, and prime it with a few squirts of refulgence, and then just work it in. You'll probably be doing this thinking, I don't think it's doing a lot. Well, it is, I'm gonna show you. So using damp microfibers, it seems to carry the product and make it easier to spread. So two to three spritz, depending on the size of the panels. You don't need a lot of this stuff. You wouldn't walk down the street looking like that, would you? I really do look suspicious. Funny story about that, years ago, milkman accused me of nicking milk. I was drinking some milk out of my own fridge. They accused me of nicking it. Dodgy looking character, Essex, you see. That is a damp microfiber. Make sure that is damp. So wring it out, have that to one side, level the product off, Cure time is around two minutes for this per panel. If you want to do one panel at a time and chill out, 
It's up to you. I was doing two. Follow it up with a dry one. And this is when you'll see the magic happen. When you first apply this, when you're going over the damp microfiber, you'll think, mm, a little bit streaky. It's not. Once you do this, that's when the gloss comes through and you'll feel the slickness on the actual microfiber towel. If it is a little bit grabby, go back over it again. Don't add more product. So already you can see that gloss. Yep, one of them from me. I've got to say, this was really easy to do. It might seem fiddly, the fact you're using uh, two microfibers on this pad, but as long as you have them close to hand, it's pretty easy stuff. Is the damn sight easier than waxing, I can assure you. Now, I don't know what this would be like on an unprepped car. I don't know what it would be like on an unpolished car. Obviously, the surface here is really smooth as it's been polished. So it's a bit of a, a breeze, if you like. So two sprays on that. Remember, we have got some in the actual pad. If you want to know where you can get these from, you can get them on Amazon. They come in packs. You can throw them in a washing machine. Be wary of the cheaper versions of these microfiber applicators. I bought cheap ones in the past, I throw them in a washing machine, they come out and they're completely destroyed. Casually tossing the damp one to the side. So home straight now. I thought I could get away with this on the next clip. No steps. Mm. Even my hairy orangutan arms can't quite make it over that roof. Time to bust the hop up out. Now I did overload the roof slightly. And then going back over it with a damp microfiber. And that just relieves it of any streaking. Trim next, Ceramic SC-TT, tires and trim. So I have used this on the Metro before. It's nice stuff this. massage this stuff in, give it a few minutes and all you got to do is buff it off. And that's pretty much it ladies and gents, that was the review from High Definition Details Refulgence. Enjoy some finishing shots.
Okay, so what do we think about refulgence? Well, what do we think about the prep work? Well, the prep work involved with this is much the same as anything else, like a coating or like Garage Therapies 3CS. You're gonna have to put the work in to get the best out of the product, to get that bond on the panel. Make sure you do your IPA wipe down in between your sets when you're machine polishing, if you are gonna do any machine polishing. The machine polishing is to get the clarity, the gloss level and the paint. This protection will provide that gloss and protection but to get the best out of it you need to do the donkey work first make sure that's damp for starters preload it with a few spritz of this three spritz per large panel small panel two so the wings two doors three maybe three or four maybe more on a bonnet less is more it actually says that if you go on the interweb and look up the description underneath it does say less is more that I, I agree with that. I did I overload a panel on purpose to see what happened and it was a bit of a bugger to get off and it was a bit streaky. Which brings me on to the next thing. The microfibers. Make sure you get one of these, make sure it's wet, then wring it out thoroughly. This is the key. If you have any streaking issues, you go over with this one first. So you apply it with this, hit it with this, and then a dry one of these and buff it off. That's when the magic happens. That's when you see the gloss really come through and you feel the slickness on the panel. You might be looking at that thinking, that's oh, a bit fiddly, that's a bit fiddly. It's not. I did a Volvo taxi the day after and sadly I didn't film it. I had loads of issues on the Saturday and the one major issue was time, but I did have a few breakages during the course of the day, which I just, I lost my, Lost my rag, should I say, and I gave up filming. I was filming this this Volvo, this taxi cab, and it was an absolute mess, and I gave up filming. Anyway, that's another story. What I found was, when I was applying a, um, a sprayable product, shall I say, it was a little bit streaky. So I just went back to one of these, a damp microfiber, done. No more streaks. So there's a lesson there. So my final thoughts are, I really do love this product. I love the ease of use. The fact you just use a damp microfiber and then follow up with a dry one is easy peasy. You get the amazing gloss levels for using next to no product. A bottle like this will cost you 19 pounds. This is a 250 ml bottle. I do a 500 ml bottle, which I can't see you ever ripping through to be honest with you. Pretty much uh, like the Gary Serapis 3CS, you don't need a lot. Water behaviour is completely bonkers, if you ask me. So I really did enjoy this product. Thanks to Shane for sending this down. Black Friday special is coming very, very soon. So don't forget, check out all the latest deals. I'll put down the links underneath along with all the Amazon affiliate links, which you can hit up at your pleasure. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Keep subscribing, keep liking. Put your thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one. Teddy bye.